to go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification just so that you know when I'm posting when a new video comes out you can be the first one to like it and comment okay today we are going to do a 99 cent store look I got a bunch of stuff I spent about $15 I tried to make like a full face though the 99 cent store doesn't have like foundation they didn't have concealer the lashes I had were trash. I'm gonna be trying to put a look together. I'm not gonna let you guys know if these products are trash trash or if they're whatever, okay? So those are the brushes that I got. I thought they were cute. I don't have many blending brushes. I only had like one blending brush. So I was like, oh, they're a dollar. Might as well just get them. I don't know if they're good. I don't know. I don't know, but I got like Wet n Wild guys, so maybe they're, they're just as good as those. Who knows? Um, I also got this palette here and then this mini palette. The bigger palette was 75 cents. This one was actually a dollar. So yeah, I was like, why not? Why not just try them out? I mean, they're so inexpensive. I also got a contour and blush set or kit. This contour looks so dark, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna try to make it work. It's a, it, you know, I, it was in a dollar. I feel like a lot of things at the 99 cent store aren't a dollar anymore. This was actually three dollars, but girl, still better than 30. I got an eyebrow pencil, a lip liner, lip gloss, mascara. Oh, and I got this, um, this highlighter. You can kind of see it. It's like this goldish highlighter. We'll see, girl. I'm gonna swatch this mini palette because I think this is the one that I'm gonna be using. So that's one of the matte colors. Right away, I know it's not gonna give me a lot of pigment. Um, as I was swatching it, it started to like ball up. It might be because the palette is old or maybe it's not good quality. But yeah, it's starting to ball up. Ooh, this is nice though. You guys see, can you guys see that? It's like a metallic. That one's cute. That one did not really ball up. So, I mean, the pigment isn't terrible. But compared to, you know, Morphe or any other good palette, I mean, of course it's not going to compare. It's only a dollar, girl. You can't go wrong with the dollar. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, okay? We're balling on a budget, so we're going to see how, how things are going to work out for us. I already swatched these earlier off camera so the top one is the darkest contour shade the middle one is the brightest blush and then this is the second brightest blush honestly the pigment is not bad it is not bad at all girl that was gonna be worse but again like I said the, the actual swatch is starting to ball up so I don't know what that means but it's balling up. I'm gonna swatch this highlighter. This is a very weird gold. It's like a like a pale gold. I don't know. I'm not really liking this. But I mean, I mean, it shines. It, it really highlights. But um, you know what? It's actually it's all right. It's all right. I think you just have to blend it out a little bit. But it's all right actually. It kind of reminds me of the Becca Moonstone. It does what a highlighter is supposed to do for a dollar. Yeah, it, it does what it's supposed to do, okay? Here's this eyebrow pencil. I usually don't use a pencil. I usually use a pomade. I haven't used a pencil so long. I tend to go too heavy with pencils. But I think that's why I don't use them because I always tend to go overboard. But let me tell you, this is black. The packaging said dark brown. This is black. So now that the eyebrows are done, I'm actually gonna conceal and then I'm gonna prep my eyes for eyeshadow. I just like to do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation, just in case for fallout, especially with these palettes. There's a lot of fallout. Other girl, concealer brush. 
So I've gone ahead and I've prepped this eye by putting concealer and setting it with translucent powder. And I've also done this eye off camera. So I'm gonna be doing like a pink cut crease. First color I'm gonna be taking is from the Bigger palette. It is like a lighter pink blending brush. And I found the trick is to actually get product on the brush and then pack it on before blending because I was trying to blend and it just like wasn't like there, like the, pig the pigment wasn't there. I'm gonna use this one as my like transition color. the brighter pink that we have. Put that right in the Now that those are blended, we're gonna cut the crease. So I'm taking the Ellie Girl. This is in the color Buff. I have hooded eyes, so I have to be careful with the way that I cut the crease. Now that I've cut the crease, I'm going to take the same blending brush and that like hot pink color and I'm just going to blend that color where the concealer starts. I'm taking this one and I'm going to take this smaller palette and I'm taking that color cupcake. So it's the darker matte color that's in this palette. And I'm also gonna put that in like the outer V and also like blend it in to where I just put that pink. I'm gonna do my foundation off camera because like I said, the 99 cent store did not have any foundation, not stick foundation, not uh, liquid foundation, not powder. So I'm gonna do my foundation off camera. Again, if you guys wanna see that, I will link my everyday makeup down below and I have my foundation routine there. So I went ahead and I put on my foundation. I also concealed and highlighted and also set with translucent powder. That is why I look like a ghost right now. But we are going to fix that. We're going to be contouring now. down below and I'll also like um, put the company name just in case you want to go to the 99 cent store and like check them out but this highlighter is something else guys Well, this 
mascara is enough. Trash. I just want to take it off. I just want to take this mascara off. As you guys know, I'm into lip combos. I'm into glossy things. I'm into the complicated, you know, trio combo. So this one here, it's kind of like a... Let's be like a mauve color, like a mauve. This packaging and the formula kind of reminds me of ColourPop. Let's try it. This is the final look. I mean, for the price of everything, I only spent $15 for whatever I had which was like a good amount of things. I got a few brushes, a couple palettes. I mean, the quality isn't gonna be there because I mean, again, it's a dollar. It's from the dollar store. You can't expect a lot. But there were some items that I did like. What I definitely did not like though was this mascara. This mascara, clumpy, it feels heavy. This will definitely be all over you within two seconds. It already started to like transfer onto my lid. So this is a no. This lip gloss, a no. I am so disappointed. I am so into lip glosses and this just seemed like so glittery, so pretty. Literally when I put it on, it like evaporated. It has no shine, it has like no type of texture, nothing. It just like evaporates and you're left with glitter. As far as the eyebrow pencil, the only problem I had with it was that it's not dark brown, it's actually black. Do I see myself using this again? Probably not, but. There was nothing wrong with it. If you're looking for a cheap eyebrow pencil, it'll work. It'll do its job. The brushes. The brushes were a yes. I actually feel like these were good brushes. Um, I don't know if they're gonna start coming apart soon. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. But like I said, for the price, I would definitely purchase more of these. Like I said, this reminds me of ColourPop. The formula is good. Color is good, it's cute, I would purchase again. The only thing is, you will probably go through these very quickly because I have to like roll it up a few times. Um, so you probably will have to go through these pretty fast. The highlighter. The highlighter, I'm actually surprised because when I swatched it on my hand initially, I was like, ew, this looks a little ashy, this looks not cute. It just looked questionable. But girl, do you see this highlight? This highlight is on fleek. Like this is this is good. For a dollar, yes, get it. For the palettes, this palette here, I was gonna do a look with this palette. When I tell you these do not blend, these colors do not blend. I was sitting here trying to blend it and it just like would not. It came out blocky, came out. This didn't even come out good. Okay, so these don't blend. Now to this one, I only tried the pink color. Um, I didn't get to try any of the shimmer shades. Literally, like, they're all shimmer shades except this bottom row. Yeah, it, it was alright. I mean, I got it for 75 cents. Not complaining. Contour and blush. Listen. This color was way too dark. Because I actually like this color and I also liked the pink color. Like I said, for the price, $3. It can't be. It, it, it was fun. It was fun trying to, you know, seeing what I liked, what I didn't like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.